Welcome back to SCB TV's Community Corner. Joining us now is Mike Foley, the Executive Director of Bridge to Home. Mike, thanks so much for joining us again. Thanks for having me. So we are very excited because coming up on December 5th is the premier fundraising event for Bridge to Home. For people who aren't familiar with Soup for the Soul, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so um, over 20 years ago, the very first shelter effort began here in Santa Clarita. It was to house as, uh, as many people as possible just for the winter period over winter over winter time. And they needed to raise $14,000 to pay to do it. And it was completely run by volunteers. So they developed this idea of Soup for the Soul to have before winter shelter started to provide the funding for the winter shelter. So over the last 20 years, it's built year after year after year to having these amazing soups provided by um, by local restaurants and, and, and artists really providing and creating soups. And it turned into a big dinner even last year where we raised over $150,000 to help homeless people for our programs. So this year, of course, we were really thrown because we could not do the event in October as we typically would. So we came up with what we think is proving to be a really fun and exciting uh, virtual fundraiser. All right, so let's talk a little bit about that, Mike, because as a virtual, and so many nonprofits are having to do these virtual fundraisers, how will Soup for the Soul be different for people to, uh, to participate? And, and then where can people get tickets? Yeah, so there's a couple things. First, everything can be had at www.btohome.org. Um, right now, they're all, and here's, here's one of the great parts. Because we're not having a dinner, people can uh, businesses and local people who want to provide sponsorships can sponsor right up to the date. So this happens on December 5th from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. And people go to our website. You can sign up as a sponsor. We also have tickets for two for $100. And you're going to get a great, a great night of events, really heart-touching stories, and dinner um, Either if you're a sponsor, then dinner will be um, brought to you from Wolf Creek. Um, if you're a, buying a ticket, um, you can go to Wolf Creek and, and pick up what's going to be just an amazing dinner. And at our website, you can see all these soups. There's just a, a huge a myriad of potential soups that you can choose from and have as a part of your soup meal. What I'm really excited about this year, Mike, and full disclosure, I am on the board and uh, a big supporter of Bridge to Home, Thank is you. this you. year's Soup for the Soul is going to be amazing. We have country artists coming. We have an auction. Can you share any more of, yeah. about what people can expect? I can. So, um, so first of all, I'll just say that the event is going to be hosted by Sean Parr. And Sean Parr is known as the voice of the Academy Awards, the voice of the Grammys. And he has a na nationally syndicated um, show from Nashville. He's known for very wacky suits and he's very, very funny. So he's going to be our host. Um, we have um, four amazing artists. So the first is Runaway June, who is an Academy of Country Music nominated female trio. We have, um, and, and just by the way, they're, they're putting out an amazing Christmas album. We just, we, I've, I've been able to, been told that it's really, really great. Um, Rachel Potter, who is a Broadway star and accomplished um, a Nashville artist. Cam is a female um, a Grammy nominated country artist, as well as uh, Kenny Foster. Um, so all of these guys are, and, and, and amazing artists are, um, are putting together uh, music for us literally right now. And it's, let me tell you one of the things that's exciting. In, in the past, in the, the very beginning, um, Soup for the Soul was, was, was a holiday event. And then as, as we went and moved towards, you know, helping people earlier and earlier in November, we did the event in October. And one of the exciting things about this is that it's a holiday themed event. And that, that warmth and the hearth component of Soup and Soup for the Soul is really the, the core of what we're, of what we're doing. And the one thing I would add too is that we're doing a virtual auction. So beginning, and I want to make sure that I get this 100% correct, um, beginning on uh, Black Friday, um, November 27th, um, all of our auction items go live. 
So um, except for a few that we're saving up for a live auction that are gonna be remarkably special. So right now we've got 70 items, 60 of those are gonna be released for the silent auction on Black Friday. So it's a great time on Black Friday to kind of go on and see what you can bid on and what's there. And just to give you, you know, just a sample of what we have is we have, um, uh, we have signed sports gear, we have a Taylor guitar signed by 20 country artists, including Carrie Underwood, Dirks Bentley, wow. and Darius Rucker. We have vacations, wine tasting, Christmas decor, golf packages, so many amazing things. And people can look at that and start bidding on it leading up to the auction night. So it's going to be a very, very exciting night. I want Mike. all those things. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. There are so many country fans in Santa Clarita, too. Right. This is this is a bonanza for them, certainly. I wanted though ask one final question for me, and that has to do with Bridge to Home and the work that it's doing. And I want I want you to to tell me, Mike, why this is so important for all of Santa Clarita to support Bridge to Home and its mission. Why is that? Should that be important to someone who lives in this valley? Well, the key right now is to remember that that at the Newhall Community Center where we are. I'm providing shelter every single day, 24 hours a day. We have uh, 20 men and 40 women who are, are, are really just in desperate need of having a place to live, um, who would be on our streets right now in, in on what's now becoming, you know, again, very, very cold nights. So we've gone from a winter shelter to a 24 hour, 365 day a year program um, for 60 people at the shelter. Right now, in the midst of COVID, We've been able to be at the Newhall Community Center thanks to the city with six feet of separation. And our volunteers are continuing to bring meals, you know, just about every single night. And the need is so great right now. We have people right now who are feared, fearing that they're going to become homeless. So knowing that there is a shelter and knowing it's there for people is so important. And one of the things I share um, during, during the, the event is what, what really continually moves me and, and continues to keep me going in the work that we do is that there's so much courage there for some people just getting up in the morning and trying again takes courage for people who are experiencing mental illness or drug and alcohol abuse they're getting up and trying again every single day and the fact of the matter is in the last six months 22 of those people have gone from homelessness to housing so wow. it works and what we're doing is it's really hard during covid there's less housing people are staying in shelters for longer periods of time, but imagine what it would be like. And not only that, we currently have 30 people in a 48 bed shelter that we're operating at a hotel, which are the most vulnerable homeless people with medical issues, with mental health concerns. And right now through Project 30, which is a new project, we've been able to secure funding to have those people, how we can pay for them to be housed for two years, for up to two years, we can pay for their, we can help them with their rental, with their uh, utilities. And we have incentives for landlords to be able to take in people that they may typically not consider doing that. So we're trying to help those 30 people go from homelessness to housing over the next, uh, by, by January 5th. And it's a huge undertaking. And the bottom line is that although we've been able to secure it and, and, and just we have an amazing case management and navigation staff. We, we now have 35, almost 40, almost 40 staff people who are working to help the people who, who need it is all of that needs to be matched. You know, we need to raise from our community $700,000 every single year to keep the doors open. And as we grow, the need for that public partnership is even more important. So to keep the doors open and keep doing what we're doing, which is making a real big difference, um, I, 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 we're so incredibly grateful for every dollar that people give and every dollar counts. And that's why Soup for the Soul is so important this year. That's coming up on Saturday, December 5th. You can sponsor or buy tickets at btohome.org, or you can always go on there and make a donation to Bridge to Home. Mike Foley, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. All right. Up next, we have Jeff Pelzel from the Newhall School District. Stay tuned. <laughs> 